Welcome back to another episode of AP Bassin. We are back here at the warehouse, the place where we started this project. We've got a new guy with us. We've got Sammy D helping us out. The most requested video off of the Flex Seal video was to make a glass. Perfect. The most requested video off of the Flex Seal video. Hey Trump, quit that for a second. The, the most requested video off the Flex Seal video was Ooh, build a video. glass bottom John boat. Check this out. This right here is plexiglass. We've got one with a tint on it, one completely clear. We're gonna try both sides. We're gonna have the tint one up front, the totally clear one here. And we're gonna try and make a glass bottom John boat. Stay tuned, y'all won't be pissed. Tell, tell, them, tell them what that stuff tell actually is. Tell them. Uh, that's, is a, that? that's a quarter inch polycarbonate. See, here's the thing, here's the thing. If we if we just put the silicone, we're gonna use 100% silicone, which is better than flex seal. We actually talked to a roofer a couple minutes ago who was working on the roof oh, yeah. here, and he said, what he said, he has a, he has another product that's that's like flex seal, but it's better. Yeah. He says flex seal is a complete garbage and it doesn't work. He's tried it on roofs before, so that was what he said, but we've gotta remove this garbage. Oh, still screw that. We've gotta remove this garbage plastic so that we can put silicone and the glass bottom on. Watch your hands. Use this thing. I don't want nobody getting hurt here. We don't want anybody going to emergency room. All right? Because of Flex Seal. Yeah. We are going to sink. This is probably going to go just as well as the Flex Seal video. Yeah, but I ordered parts off the Think about it. The glass is flat, right? Oh, so does this, does this look flat to you? Yeah. Get this done. No. We're going to have to bend all that by hand. Do we do a good job of bending things? No. Also, no. I got so, a spot up in McHenry. I want to we're going to sink. Rivers. We'll be able to see plenty of fish underneath the water. Land. It'll be amazing. But then you got a place for the water level. It's going to so, butt against it. So, so if, if we put it like this, Ralph, and just fill this all in with coffee. I think this is, a, this is a mess. This is what we call a, a shit show. I think this boat's sinking regardless. Wow, this has been a huge project. Didn't think it was gonna be this big. Luckily, Ralph's here, else this would not be as good as it's gonna be. But we're trying out something. We're gonna try and flatten those, what would you call those? Raised, elevated rivets in the bottom of the John boats? Ribs? I guess you call them ribs. Ribs. So we're trying to flatten the ribs in the John boat so that the plexiglass will adhere right to it. And we're flattening those out. And uh, we had to sand it, we had to get the flex seal off. Um, we've opened up all the the uh, doors in the warehouse, so there's some ventilation, don't worry. And um, we just cleaned up all that dust, and now we're gonna hopefully adhese the... We're, we're actually getting close. Many hands make light work. I'm not doing anything. If you guys didn't know this, Mav is actually four years old. He'll be turning five next week, so big day next week. Okay. I didn't flatten these out. Ralph flattened these out. Um, made those rivets or those runners now flat. Now we're gonna put a piece of foam tape around so that when that glass hits that, it um, gives it a little bit of uh, a barrier against the water. Kind of makes it flush. So we got this, the foam tape down. Now Mr. Parrick's gonna start caulking to create a, some sealant, fill up those holes so everyone stays dry in the boat and they got a see-through bottom. What? We should. See if it works, moment of truth. It's okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna ooze it right on there. Let it ooze out. Okay, Ralph. Come to you a little bit. Let's do this. This boat is just gonna be the biggest project boat in the history of the projects. In the history of the world. After this, let's re-aluminum on it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have. Oh, what what are you doing, man? Right, everybody. What? I didn't. You didn't see we were picking it off. All right, easy with the truck. Okay, you guys see this? See when you look around the perimeter? See how it is just compressed the, the silicone around the perimeter? Mm. Then you know you got a seal. If you see any gaps between it, you don't see any, right? It's white all the way around. Over here is a little harder to see, but you can see it. Okay. You just gotta look a little. Okay. So I, I, th I think you guys are good. 
Good job. All right, we're kind of done with how my dad this, and Ralph. This is things gonna float, no problem. <laughs> It's 100% going to you float. You know what the only problem is? <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, we've got, we we've got, huge shout out to Ralph and my dad for helping. I didn't do anything, I'll just be honest. Like, You're a supervisor. I got some caulk on my hands and I tried to cut some metal. So, we got 24 hours, we will be back in 24 hours. Caulk is gonna dry and we will be back in 24 hours. <laughs> Glass bottom boat time. What's up, man? <laughs> Here's the boat, project boat. Hello. Whoa, 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 it's still wet, but when you get it in water, it like dries. I don't know what's wrong with just just this part right here. So other than that, it's all good. Do not touch me, Gypsum. <laughs> just give me the, do not the paper. Do not shrink Give me, me the paper. Gypsum. Do not touch me, Gypsum. I feel like in these past two videos, I've just submitted to you and this is not okay. Just now he's using my shirt. He used my hair before. Okay, okay, you're gonna be, you're gonna grab that now. You're gonna grab that or are you gonna get it? It's not gonna drop on the floor. Oh, 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 what was that? So it's been 48 hours. We've let the boat dry. We have now come to the clearest lake I know, which is a huge shout out to John B because he's the one who showed me this lake. It's a public body of water. Good stuff here, about a 3M. This is going to be sick. All right, it's time to rig a few rods, then we're gonna put the boat in the water and give it a little test. Is this thing on? The moment of truth, all of the hard work. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to redo it because this is just like, the idea of this and how clear this water is is gonna be absolutely insane. We're literally gonna be able to see the bottom, see what's going on. It's an advantage, especially like if you see a bunch of fish in the weed lines or if you see a bunch of fish chasing stuff, you know, underneath your boat, you can actually see now. It's freaking crazy. All right, let's put this baby in. Let's do it. All right, you ready here? Yeah, let's, let's push it out like this. There's not a single drop of water in there. That's so look cool. Up, up, yeah, no, watch, I throw stuff on the on the glass and watch him try to eat it. Oh wait, that's too way too big. Look at him. Can you see them? Bon Voyage, the first ever, to my knowledge, on YouTube, maybe not, that's probably a big bold statement, but the first time I'm ever getting into a glass bottom boat, glass bottom John boat for bass fishing, Let's get after it and let's turn this messy flex seal project into a badass glass boat project. Let's get it. Soby, you gotta come. Oh my God. Move dude. the car and come, Soby. You have to, come on. So they want me to bring this $5,000 camera in, in something that they built that has two holes in it. I don't think so. Bye guys. Oh, we're taking out a little bit of water here. Really? Unless I, unless I just brought that in. Holy cow, this is so sick. This is so sick. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's following the boat. How's my placement? Pretty good. I can't see him anymore, but he's right over there. He's got it. <laughs> oh! Dude, how sick was that? Oh my gosh, dude. Dang it. Well, lost the first one of the day. It's been a struggle. The crazy part is we've been out here for what, 20 minutes now? Yeah, probably about 20 minutes. We've only got a little bit of water by math, so yeah, it's cool. holding up. Um, we do need to seal it a little bit better for next trip, but dang. Dude, that's how it was last time though I was here with John. Like, I'd see him kind of cruise and we'd pitch to him and they'd bite it every time. Really? So like, I should let him eat it longer. He got it. He's got it. It's a big fish. Oh yeah! Look at him! Look at him! Underneath the boat! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Look at that! 
I'm gonna let him go under it. See him? <laughs> That's nutty. Clear water. The first fish of the day falls victim to first fish of the day falls victim to the little dragon drop. You thought this was like three pounds, buddy. No, I didn't think that one was three pounds. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. This one I didn't say three pounds on. All the other ones I'll take credit for, I said three pounds. But this first one, one yeah. of the day. Nice. Feeling good. You know, we're not out here really to catch fish, but when the boat actually works, might as well spend some time. It's been a full hour. That's the amount of water we have in the boat right there. And thanks to Matt for spotting that fish. Dude, it's crazy why they eat so easily. Yeah, dude, it's nuts. Nice. The clear bottom glass boat worked. You know, we had doubter number one, doubter number two behind the camera, and then the positive Nancy that thought everything was gonna work and we were gonna catch a bass out of it. We caught a bass, we lost a bass, yeah, what are you laughing at, buddy? The positive, the positive, the positive Nancy. Nancy? <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. It worked. It was a fun day out on the water. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. We are going to definitely fish out of it more. We are going to reseal it. We had a bad tube of silicone that after two days, we did this two, two, day, two and a half days ago, and it still did not dry. And now it's all over my body, and it won't come off. So that's a fun thing to deal with. But we're going to put this thing away. We're going to reseal it up. Probably... I don't know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to clip off the, the extra nails and we're going to make this thing pretty because now that it works, <laughs> would you like to get punched in the face now or later? Oh, uh, no. We're going to load this boat up. We're going to get out of here and we're starting something tomorrow. What are we starting tomorrow? We're starting something tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode and we will catch you guys tomorrow. AP Bassin, Marv, Sobe, we're out.